also heard you're a talented cartoonist. So you love doing. So what do? You, I, how do you? Paint? Do, how do you decide do what you're going to do? I do cartoons. I, you know, I. It's catharsis. You know, I've been through a lot of crazy feelings in the last few years. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that, and and I let it take me where it wants to take me. And I do painting, and I do cartoons, and uh, yeah. That's so you. cool. Yeah, I love it. I tried painting. I'm not good. Yeah, no, it's so cathartic. It's so wonderful. And a year later, it tells you what you wanted it to say. Like crazy. Okay, so yes. this this is the story of the prodigal son to me. That's my father, and that is basically every day of my life when I kick the shell <laughs> off and I'm born again every morning. Oh my god. Yeah. So I did that one on Easter, and I just That's... said, hey, let's shake off all this, you know, vitriol and whatever it is, and yeah. become united again, and and let's. That's such uh... a healthy thing, though, like yeah. using that as your vehicle. Yeah. But the uh, the the uh, prodigal son one, I don't know if you can put that back up. It's uh, it's it's quite uh, weird. Dark. Story. No, it's not dark, no, not actually. It looks dark, and yet what it represents for oh, me is I that a lot of people don't think about these stories. You know, the prodigal son, the uh, the two siblings that, you know, one goes off and gallops, gallivants around, and the other one stays in the kingdom and lets and keeps it running, right, until yeah. the prodigal son comes back. Well, the prodigal son is your mind. You know, at any one moment, you're either in your body or you're not in your body, and your mind is the prodigal son or the prodigal daughter, no, and it goes. They're not present. Yeah. It goes flight. You know, the heart can't go anywhere. It has to run the body, and it has to keep the keep the blood pumping, and so it's stuck. But the mind can go anywhere it wants to go. Which I love. And sometimes that's fantastic, except when it takes you over, and yeah. it takes you, and it it it, it prevents you from enjoying this. Yeah. And it prevents you from enjoying this. Yeah. And and all of the things in the walk in the morning and stuff. Yeah. You know, so sometimes when you're in, can I say, hell on earth? You can. Um, you can. And uh, I have been sometimes there. Sometimes when you are, that's time travel. You're all, you, you can never really, it's very difficult to be unhappy if you're really in your body, if you bring your brain back to your body. And sometimes that's what pain is. Pain is your body calling you back saying, I'm your heart and I miss you. Yeah. You know, Work on come this. Back. Yeah. Come back. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I thought you meant the black and white one where your father. That's when no, I, that's I was like, dad. it looks a little that's dark, but it's That good. was my dad. My dad is, uh, that, that was, I did from a photograph uh, of my father in, in his early life standing on a rooftop in Toronto with his pet rat. So. Wow. My dad was one of the most rooftop incredible rat. characters that you ever met in your life. The funniest man that ever walked the earth. I mean, he makes me look like, I don't know what, like a Shakespearean uh, no, but tragedy. You should know this about you. Like, you have a, a really cool vibe and light about you, and you're so welcoming. Like, I've only been in this show for, like, five months, but, like, a lot of times you meet people, and they're, they all have walls up. Yeah, and they're no, so afraid, no and they're here. so serious because they want to be taken seriously, and it's, like, yeah. it's really refreshing. So yeah. thank you thank for you. Being, being such thank a light. You. It's cool. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.